Hi everybody, welcome to KO Crafts with Kelly. Today is Tuesday, September 29th, which means it's Teach Me Tuesday. Yes, I'm finally getting back to doing Teach Me Tuesday. I don't know what happened. I, you know, you would think with me being unemployed and all the COVID, you know, stuff where you're not supposed to go do anything, you'd think I'd have plenty of time. But I don't know what I've been doing, but I just, ah, uh, it's crazy. But anyways, you're not here for that. Today, I am going to teach you how to do the C2C or corner to corner stitch. I'm going to show you how to do it as a square. And then I'm going to show you how to do it as a rectangle. So that way, a lot of people use this for scarves, you know, or, or if you want to make an afghan out of it, but you want it to be longer than you do wide, this will work. And it's really super simple. Um, the C2C is a yarn eater, and I'm going to be doing a video on that uh, here shortly to show you just how much. But in the meantime, let's get started. Okay, so I've got that cleared up. Um, so to get started, it's really simple. Um, I am using my Leather hook. I love it. I cannot wait till I'm working again so I can go back to getting these hooks. But anyway, so... You're going to start out by chaining six. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then you are going to do a double crochet in the third, fourth chain from your hook. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. And you're just going to do a double crochet. And I am using a bigger hook than I did for the other one just to show you how to do it in different sizes and then you're going to double crochet to the end so you should have your chain four hook or loop and then your double crochets okay so technically you have this which was your chain and then three okay now you're going to chain six again one two three four five six now you can do what you want, a turn, a flip, whatever, but you need to turn your work so that your whole thing is pointing out this way, okay? Now, you're going to do the same thing you just did. You're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. And in the next two so that you have another repeat of what you just did. So one... two, three, okay? So then you're gonna look like this. And this is the hardest part because it's a bit confusing. Um, if you look like this, just flip the back one. Get my camera to focus here. Okay, now you are going to skip all these crochets and you're going to work in this chain loop space, okay? You are going to do a slip stitch in that space. So then you're gonna look like this, okay? And you're gonna chain three, and then you're gonna do three double crochets in there. So you got one, two, three, okay? So then you kind of look like a little heart, whatever. <laughs> All right, so you're at the end, so you're gonna do a chain six. And you, this is going to be at every end as you want to increase your size. So we're gonna chain six, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna crochet in the fourth one down. One, two, three, four. And the next two. One, two, three. Okay, so then you have something like this. Now you're going to flip this up so that you have it looks like this. Okay, and then you're going to work over here in your chain three loop and you're going to do a slip stitch chain three one 
two, three, and then do three double crochets. One, two, three, okay? Now you should have another loop over here in between your chains, right there. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna slip stitch, chain three, double crochet three times. One, two, three, okay? So now you look like this. Okay, and this little guy here, he does always shape up. He always looks weird. So now you're gonna do your increase. So you're gonna chain six, three, four, five, six. Crochet in the, double crochet in the fourth one down. One, two, three, four. And the next two, so you have a total of three double crochets. Okay, so then you're gonna look like this. Now I just flip it up so it looks like this. And you're gonna work right in here again and you're gonna do the same thing across again. You're gonna slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets. One, two, three. And come over here, you're gonna find the next hole, slip stitch, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and then you're gonna find the last one at the end, slip, chain, one, two, three, three double crochets. One, two, three, okay? So then that's what it looks like. Okay, now to start decreasing so that you can start making it, so this is technically how you're working, okay? So now to start decreasing so that you can make this come across and this side come up, I'm gonna show you what you do. So normally at this end, you would chain six and increase. We're not gonna do that. Okay, we're simply going to turn our work and I skip this loop right here and I come over here and I slip stitch in the second one. Not everybody does, so do it both ways if you like and see which one you prefer. I prefer this one, slip stitch, oops, let's get this, there we go, okay. So we're gonna slip stitch, and then we're gonna slip stitch in the next one. And that puts you right here at this chain. You're gonna work normal. Slip stitch, chain three, two, three, three double crochets. One, two, three, okay? So if you hold it like this, you can see you just made this square edge. So what you did is, oh, hold on, I'm running out of yarn, okay. So what you did is you just worked one less on this side because you didn't add one, okay? So now you're just gonna work across like you normally would. One, two, three, oops. Three double crochets. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little warm down here. My hands are a little bit sweaty and my yarn is sticking to my fingers. Okay, so then you're gonna go to the next one. Find the gap. Slip, chain three. Three double crochets. And then you're gonna go to your last one and you're gonna work it. Slip, chain three. One, two, 
three. Okay, so now you look like this. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do just like we did before, we're gonna turn it, we're gonna slip stitch. All you're doing is slip stitching across to get to your chain three space. Okay, just like that. So then you're gonna slip, spit, slip, yeah. One, two, three, and work across. Two. Three. Find the space, slip stitch, one, two, three, one, two, three, find the space, one, two, three, one, Three. And now, when you get to this end, this is your last one. You're not going to work in here. You just want to work on the current row. So you're going to go into that last space and work your three. Three chains, three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay? So then you can see we're starting to work across, okay? Okay, now, that is not right. Sorry about that. And then if you turn, there you go. Okay, now if you want to do this, oops, let me take this back to where we were still increasing. If you want to do a diagonal, okay, oops, get back over here. Okay, if you want to do your diagonal, you will still decrease on this side. So we're going to slip stitch across and we're going to do our three. Okay. One, two, three. And if you want to put a stitch marker at the end that you did the decrease, that's fine. Um, once you get going on it, you won't need it to tell which end you're supposed to do a decrease and which one you do an increase. It'll be pretty obvious. Um, but if you want to mark it, that's okay. Okay. Just getting across here so I can show you what we're doing. And then our last one. Three. Okay, so this end we decreased. So this end we want to increase so that we can grow it tall. And then this side will stay straight. So you're going to chain your six, three, four, five, six. You're going to go down four, one, two, three, four. And then you're going to double crochet in the next three. One, two, three, and turn. Okay. Now you're going to work across like normal. One, two, three. One, two. 
three. And if this is kind of boring watching me go across, I'm purposely not going to speed it up in case you're having trouble catching on because it is it's easy once you get it but it is a little complicated to get started okay so bear with us if you don't like me walking all the way across I'm sorry I'm trying to keep it to as few rows as possible and still be able to teach it okay all right so now you to your last one okay so, slip stitched in there, you're going to turn, you're going to, whoops, slip stitch across because you're decreasing, one, two, three, and there you see, now you can see it's, let me lay it down starting to go oblong and then you keep working like that increase decrease increase until you get it as long as you want and then you'll decrease both sides okay so I don't know if I said this so I'm going to repeat back here now when you're decreasing this side or either side when you get to this very last one you only slip stitch okay you don't work a whole whatever I don't know what you want to call these clusters whatever and then you turn and then you slip stitch across okay I don't think I said that in the last sorry Oop. slip stitch and then you would work your cluster in here okay so and then that will make your oblong okay so I hope this makes sense um, I do love doing this stitch, but it is very time or very, uh, eats a lot of yarn. Now, if you can, I'll show you the difference in, let's get these in camera. Well, let's do it up here. The difference in size of the stitches. Okay. For this one, I used, um, hold on, I'll go find out. Hold on. Okay. For this one, I used a D hook or a three millimeter. Okay, and it's very small and tight. And then this one, as you can see, the stitches are a lot bigger. So your project's going to be a lot bigger. Okay. As you can see, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six rows. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This one's a lot denser material. This one's a lot looser, a lot lighter. Okay, and this is really thick. This is really, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> and for this one, I used, I think this is an H hook. I'm not sure because the uh, it's a six point something, either a 6.0 or a 6.5 bigger hook. So depending on what kind of material you want to end up with, very thick and dense, very light and fluffy okay so that's the difference in the hook sizes you know so you have to judge depending on what your project is so I hope this made sense I hope you enjoyed it um, and I will be back I'm going to try to be back every Tuesday um, you know like I said life got crazy but I'm trying to work out a schedule so I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and we will talk to you later God bless stay safe and love you.